Hey guys, Anthony here with video tutorial on how to use the Fusion template in Review. In Review, you can create professional looking videos using pre made templates, which you will find for a variety of niches. So, if you've created several videos using different video templates in Review, and you want to put them together in one video, you can use the Fusion template to do so. So, I'm logged into my Review account and I'm on the home page. In the Collections tab, you will find the Fusion template. Now, before we go to the Fusion template, we need to go to the My Videos section. And for all the videos that you want to merge into one, use this heart icon to add them to favorites. If I scroll up, you will see that I created a project group. And there are three videos in this group. I've created a separate tutorial on how to create project groups. But if I go back to the project group I created, and click on it, you will see the three videos in the group that I'm going to use in this Fusion template demo. You will also notice that I've added these videos to my favorites. Now we can open the Fusion template under Collections and choose Fusion. It will open the video editor with the Fusion template. It will give it a name and click Continue. In the timeline below, you will see a default scene. Let me delete it by hovering my mouse over it and clicking the delete icon and then clicking this delete button to confirm. Next we need to click this add scene button down below to add scenes to our timeline. As you can see there are many different scenes to choose from depending on the type of transitions. I'm going to choose this one with a 0.5 second fade in. And since I have three videos to merge, I will add three of these scenes. Once I've added the scenes, I will close out of here. And you will see the three scenes down here in the timeline. Next, I'll click on the first scene and then click this video icon. And under the My Videos tab, you will find the videos that you added to favorites. I will add this one by clicking this Add button. You will see this preview pop up with a trimmer and slider. By default, it will pick the first five seconds of the video clip. But I can use the slider to extend the duration. I'll choose the full duration of the clip and then click this continue button. It will be added to the first scene. I will then click the second scene in the timeline and click this video icon again. This time I'll choose this video clip and you will see this preview pop up again. I'll use 7 seconds of this clip by using the slider and click continue. And finally, I'll click on the third scene and click this video button once again. I'll choose this as the last video clip. I'll choose a full video clip using the slider and click continue. So now we have added all our three scenes. After you add all your videos, make sure that you have a check mark on all your scenes like so. Next, we can go to the music tab and we can either use the default music or add our own music using this Add Files button or use the Change Audio button to use another music clip from the Review Audio Library. I'll stick for the default music. Also, I will use this Fade Out button to fade out the music at the end of the video. And finally, once you're done, you can click the Submit Video button. Wait until you see this message pop up and then you can click this Go to My Videos button to see the rendering status of your video. Once the video is rendered, you will get an email notification. And this is the rendered video. And here is how it came out.